Hello Gemini, this is your reading, you versus them, for the 15th through the 21st. This is for Gemini, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Okay. I think you guys are all about working. You were waiting on something for a while. But um, now I think you, you've decided something that... Um, you just want to either, you know, work as far as like get your finances up or this is all about not waiting for anyone anymore and working on yourselves and, you know, trying to get to that 10th pinnacle, the ultimate um, stability. OK, let's see what's keeping Gemini from this person What's keeping Gemini from this person. Knight of Swords. Maybe somebody has some anger issues. Too hasty with their actions, their words. For some of you, this is having to really kind of be open and honest about a situation that maybe um, some of you are not ready to be or ready to do. What's keeping this person from Gemini? Hmm. I'm getting that these cards flipped over as the cards in your deck did. Um, <clears throat> but it looks like this person was trying to move on for a while and um, trying to figure out some things about you guys here, how to move on, if you guys were going to move on together or um, them by themselves here. And I'm seeing that it looks like somebody is wanting to take a leap of faith here, Aries, Virgo, Aquarius energy, okay? Wanting to start over and do something new. What's keeping this person from Gemini? Huh. For some reason, this card is in reverse. This is my deck. Okay, you see all the cards down there, basically in the upright, but this is a four of coins in reverse. So I'm going to take it. Um, they're not holding on. They've let go. Okay. <clears throat> Capricorn energy there. They have they were holding on to the relationship for a while. Like I said, they were trying to figure out something, whether or not you guys are going to move on together or whether they were going to move on by themselves. And um, I see them currently taking a leap of faith towards something new. OK, so they they're letting go. They're no longer holding on, um, trying to figure things out in this situation. OK, what's influencing Gemini? What's influencing Gemini? A lot of you guys, like I said, um, there's something that there's some truth that you want to know. OK, I'm feeling like you guys probably three cards flipped over again. That's what did. Um, that's what it did initially. So we have the Queen of Swords that flipped over. We have the Ace of um, Cups that flipped over and the Four of Swords that flipped over. So it, it's like. You guys are trying to figure figure out something here. There's some truth that I'm feeling like some of you want to say. There's something there's something about this love or feeling this newness, this newfound emotion for someone that I'm feeling like you guys want to say or somebody wants to say something to you after they have been out. Vacant, okay. Not speaking for a while. I'm thinking like a like a lot of you guys are probably um, wanting to come out of the hermit mode. That's what I'm feeling like. You guys were in hermit mode for a while, and there's something that you figure out about this individual that you want to say, okay. Three times that three cards have flipped over. Two in your deck and one in theirs. Somebody wants to see some growth here. There may have been a three-party relationship here. Okay, only you guys know that. 
<clears throat> what's influencing Gemini? Nine of Wands want to continue. Feeling like, yeah, you've been through the battle. You guys have been through some shit. And it's like, I, I think... I can I can pick this up. I can keep going. I have it in me to keep going. Okay. I've been through a struggle. We've been through a battle. Okay. But I feel like we can continue. We can make it together. That's what I'm feeling from a lot of you guys here. Hmm. What's influencing them? That's Sagittarius energy there. Excuse me. What's influencing them? Ten of Cups. They just want to be happy. They want the ultimate happiness, okay? They want the ultimate committed, happy relationship where they don't have to um, seek anything else outside, okay? Everything is there, all wrapped up with a nice little bow, okay? That's what they're looking for. Let's see. What's currently going on for Gemini? Six of Swords. Moving on, I'm feeling like this is just you, though. I don't feel like you guys are, are currently with anybody. I'm feeling like, you know, you're just like, you just know certain things are not serving you anymore, okay? Feeling hurt, feeling rejected, um, you know, past insults or just anything that you felt like was keeping you stuck. You're no longer feeling stuck. You're no longer feeling conflicted. Um, moving past that hard energy, okay? <clears throat> What's currently going on for them? What's currently going on for them? The Nine of Cups. Mm-hmm. They're trying to get that Tenth Cup. They're trying to have all their wishes filled, okay? They're, they're pretty happy right now. Pretty happy right now with themselves, okay? Let's see. What's coming in for Gemini? What's coming in for Gemini? Six of Cups. Somebody from the past. Showing their head, showing their face. Good memories. Mm -hmm. Reminiscing. Reuniting all of the above. What's coming in for them? What's coming in for them? Five of Pentacles. Mm. Feeling left out? Feeling like they have to leave? Somebody, somebody is getting ready to experience some hurt here. Maybe getting ready to be um, put out. Um, maybe experience some financial hardship. They may be a single parent. Um, but definitely... You know, having the responsibility of another individual, um, feeling a financial strain, feeling hurt, feeling um, that they're all alone. Okay. It's Taurus, Pisces, um, Capricorn energy there. What's the advice for Gemini? What's the advice for Gemini? Seven of Wands, stand your ground, okay? Whatever boundaries you have established for yourself, stand your ground. Um, not necessarily be defensive, but um, definitely stand up for what you believe, okay? Page of Cups here that flipped out for them. This person's wanting to start over. Somebody's wanting to make an apology here is what I'm getting. Somebody wants to make an apology in this situation. What's the advice for them? 
King of Wands. Hmm. Kings are, they're grounded energy for sure. But um, I think this person probably needs to be a little more grounded, honestly. Huh. More confident, for sure. Not cocky, but confident. You know, when I'm looking at their spread, what I'm feeling more than anything with their cards is that... There was somebody here that was very closed off, but they're opening up. They're opening their heart. They're wanting the Ten of Cups, the ultimate happiness. Right now they're at the Nine of Cups, okay? They're wishing for something. They're wanting something here. And... I'm feeling like that has everything to do with you guys because we saw the Ace of Cups, or I saw the Ace of Cups, um, and I forget what other cards there were, but it was like they realized, the Queen of Swords, they realized that they have these feelings um, that they really want to speak on. Hmm. Then they have judgment under there. But for some reason, I'm feeling like, they, feeling like they don't have the confidence to come towards you guys. It's almost like they felt like the grass was green on the other side. But, um... And they probably once left you guys feeling hurt and rejected, but now what's coming in for them is that very same feeling. Okay. Hmm. What's the outcome here in this situation? What is the outcome? Ten of Cups. Hmm. Happy, happy, happy. Getting what you deserve, standing your ground, not allowing anything other than what you deserve into your life. Is it them? What's the outcome for them? What's the outcome for them? Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Outcome for them? I feel is basically looking at the situation from a very emotional standpoint with the Queen of Pentacles being there. Um, I'm feeling like this person's waiting for they're waiting for you guys to make a move. And they're almost expecting it. Okay. Hmm. So Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio. What other messages? Do the Romance Angels have for my Gemini? What other messages do we have for Gemini? Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Definitely, I feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had here because um, 
I already felt like with that very first card, that Knight of Swords, there's something that I feel like you guys want to say, um, anxious to say even. Okay, again, with the Queen of Swords energy being here um, that flipped over in the deck. Definitely wanting to cut out the bullshit, okay, and just speak honestly from the heart. I'm getting that, you know, somebody just does not know how to, okay? So that is what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.